So you guys can see in this example, another way to look at factoring out the GCF, you guys could break these all down into their prime factors um, or linear factors. But a lot of times, the other way to look at factoring is to think of them as um, an area. If you guys remember, when we are multiplying two binomials, or when we are multiplying two polynomials, remember that the product, uh, the product of two polynomials represented the area of like a rectangle. So if I'm asking you to find the factors, I'm sorry, if I'm asking you to factor out, basically what they're doing, what I'm saying is, I'm going to give you the area of a rectangle. I want you to find the side lengths. So let's pretend that each of these, this represents the area of this rectangle. Since there's three terms, I'm going to break it down into three little boxes inside the general rectangle. And basically what we're looking for, when we're saying what are common factors, I'm basically asking you, what could be the length of this side length that I could multiply by a width to get each and one of these areas. So what would be a common length that I could use? You could use 5, right? Because we know we can multiply 5 into 5, 5 into 10, and 5 into negative 15. And then what else could I use? I could use an x. I can't go any higher than x because that's my lowest x, right? It's only have x to the first power is the lowest one. So I do 5x. So that is my greatest common factor. So instead of thinking of it like dividing it out, you're basically just saying that's the common side length. Now, 5x times what gives me 5x cubed? x squared. 5x times what gives me 10x squared? 5x. Positive 5x. 5x times what gives me negative 15? More than is 2x. 2x. Very good. Thank you. Negative 3. So therefore, my factored form is 5x times x squared plus 2x minus 3. Does everybody follow that? Anybody have any preguntas?